I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. The Staden Line in Plymouth, England, is an array of fortifications that was strategically placed to protect the Royal Navy's Devonport Dockyard. One of these, constructed in 1869, was Fort Bolisat. It has served several key roles over the years, from contributing towards the defence of Plymouth from the French and Napoleon III, to assisting in the area's air defence during the Plymouth Blitz in World War II. Since being abandoned in 1956, the fort has fallen into disrepair and a drastic action is needed if the site's rich, naval and historic heritage is to be preserved. With local residents and councils expressing an interest in the preservation and celebration of such a historical structure, Fortium Engineering Consultants have embarked on an exciting opportunity to rescue the derelict Fort Bovisan site. According to Historic England and the Fort Bovisan Curator, within 10 years the Fort Bovisan structure would be beyond viable repair. The proposed site has the financial backing from Fort owner and former chairman of the FA, Greg Dyke, who is desperate to rescue it after understanding its history. With significant marine and military history, it is essential that the structures within the site are brought back into life and reoccupied. Fortium have produced detailed designs for the redevelopment, enabling the fort to be transformed into an eco-leisure resort called Vita Nova. And we believe that these designs can rejuvenate the local area, improve income for local businesses and encourage tourism to the southwest. The redevelopment aims to contribute towards increasing tourism within the UK and the southwest. The project as a whole provides a significant opportunity to coincide with the local authority's vision for the future, in turn helping Fortium achieve national status. Based in Plymouth in the southwest of England, Fortium consists of nine young, talented engineers specialising in the civil, structural, coastal and mechanical disciplines with additional operational expertise in quality, finance and risk management. The members of the Fortium team delivering the Vita Nova Resort are Daniel Riddell, Project Manager Joseph Wisniewski, Lead Civil Engineer Jason Thorne, Lead Mechanical Engineer Frederick Stitson, Principal Structural Engineer Byron Otti, Principal Coastal Engineer Ian Alberto, Coastal Engineer Gregory Crowell, Geotechnical Engineer Anton Millet, Risk Manager Tillemakos Tillemakou, Mechanical Engineer. Located four miles from Plymouth City Centre, Vita Nova will incorporate an extended car park, new cafe and reception, accommodation, restaurant and entertainment facilities, modern marina and water sport facilities, a luxurious spa and gymnasium and a state-of-the-art sports complex. At the entrance to the site will be the extended car park providing increased capacity for two full-size buses, electric vehicle charging facilities and up to 165 vehicles up from the current 80. Existing bus stop has been relocated to just before the entrance improving safety and maintaining easy access into Plymouth. Cut back into the existing cliff face and supported with a gabion retaining structure, the clifftop car park also houses the new Cliff Edge Cafe and the Vita Nova reception. The expanded Cliff Edge Cafe provides an opportunity to experience the breathtaking views of Bogosan Beach whilst enjoying some locally sourced food and drink. The main reception will be the Vita Nova guests' first point of contact where they can be transported to the main complex with resorts electric carts. The accommodation, restaurant and entertainment facilities will be distributed between Stand Point, Casamata and the John Rennie building. The proposed design for Stand Point maintain the existing masonry block work and will reinstate the current derelict east and west towers to house three floors of bespoke luxury accommodation with the resort's finest views over the Plymouth Sound. 
The step factory will act as the resort's main reception and laundrette facilities. Levels 1 and 2 provide more bespoke accommodation for the resort, with stunning views of the Plymouth Sound. Standpoint is accessible from the resort's winding access roads and includes 12 car parking spaces in the battery's forecourt for the resort's electric carts and disabled vehicles. The redeveloped Casamata building will be transformed to 22 luxury guest rooms with luxury bathrooms, single and double bedrooms and spacious living areas. The East and West Lookout Towers will be retrofitted to become part of the resort's entertainment facilities, including casino and bar area. The roof of Casamata will incorporate helicopter landing facilities to be used by both guests of the resort and emergency services. Named after the legendary engineer John Rennie, who was responsible for the design and construction of the Plymouth Breakwater, the John Rennie Building will serve as the resort's main accommodation. The building will incorporate an expansive restaurant, penthouse bar and cafe, all with stunning views of the site's marina and the Plymouth Sound. This innovative step design utilises lightweight trusses to span out from the cliff to provide a more direct access from the Standpoint Battery Facility, improving access across the site. This large seven-storey building will include 140 rooms, ranging from economy doubles to spacious four and six guest apartments. The open plan penthouse bar and restaurant will also be available for private functions, increasing the potential income for the resort. With Vita Nova, an active leisure resort aiming to accommodate a wide range of guests, an innovative element that has been incorporated within the marina expansion is the natural lido. The natural lido allows for safe swimming conditions in the seawater under controlled depths through the use of sluice gates. The Lido can be used by all guests of all swimming abilities with the added ramp providing wheelchair access. Vessels that are part of the resort, along with visiting ferries, can be berthed at the marina. The resort can accommodate passenger ferries, allowing guests to enjoy day trip excursions from the resort itself. Floating pontoon systems allow access for the very tidal levels. The pontoon can be accessed by a sloped gangway, existing stepped access, and an attachable and movable ramp that connects to the new slipway for wheelchair access. Sailing boats, jet skis and the site's water sport vessels can be berthed within the proposed marina which has the capability of berthing 36 vessels in total. The current external key wall was assessed to be inadequate to protect the pontoon area, the natural lido and the relocated slipway. Therefore, a critical component of the redeveloped marina is the extension to this external key wall to provide sheltered water for berth vessels. The new extension will also provide safe conditions for water sport activities. Fortium are always looking ahead. With the effect of using fossil fuels a rising issue, the use of renewable resources is more important than ever. The prime location of Vita Nova off the Atlantic coast has the potential to utilise and harness wave energy into the design of the extension in the form of an oscillating water column. The marina is an integral part of the redevelopment and provide a safe leisure area for the Vita Nova guests to enjoy. The Watch House is Vita Nova's spa retreat that promotes guests' personal and natural well-being in an environment designed to transcend the stresses of the modern day routine. It has been positioned on top of the Bovisand Cliffs overlooking the vista of the Plymouth Sound where the panoramic views enhance the spa experience. The facility incorporates two 25-metre swimming pools and an inbuilt jacuzzi. The facilities further include a large gymnasium situated on the cantilevered first floor, where guests can train or attend classes to enrich their personal fitness. The watch house encompasses relaxation, health and well-being, whilst architecturally complementing the surroundings and marrying in with the resort's theme. The project has strived to produce a fully integrated scheme, which together creates a fully functioning, sustainable and welcoming space. In order to link the main complex to the watch house, a bespoke panoramic glass gondola lift has been incorporated into the site. The resort's guests will have the opportunity to use the lift, which has capacity for 16 people, as well as enough space for hotel service equipment. Two terminals will be used to connect the top and bottom level of the resort, where guests can be transported from the watch house to Casamata for easy access to Bovisand Beach. The Brownhill Sports Complex is located on the site of the old Brownhill Battery. 
With direct road access to Sandler Lane, the sports complex consists of a four-storey multi-use sports centre, which includes a sports hall, squash courts, Beaton over offices and a conference room. A large car park will be installed to the north of the site, whilst to the south the complex will house three tennis courts, a five-a-side football pitch, a basketball court, a mini golf course and an archery range. The use of the Brownhill Sports Complex will be prioritised for Vitano over guests, however a select number of paid memberships will be available for external users. The south-facing nine-acre field located directly below the Brownhill Sports Complex provides an ideal opportunity for generating renewable energy through solar power. The installed photovoltaics are estimated to harvest enough energy to supply the whole resort while selling the remaining energy to the grid. The revenue generated by the PV park will help to reduce the payback period for the project while contributing towards Fortium's vision to create a self-sufficient leisure resort. The project as a whole aims to provide guests with a fulfilling and unique experience based around exercise, relaxation and mental well-being. Design and construction of the Vitanova Resort has been divided into eight stages. The total project duration has been estimated at six years with construction taking approximately four years. Construction has been broken down into two phases, with phase one including the Watch House and Brownhill Sports Complex and phase two including the main Fort Complex and Bobasan Marina. All design work for the Vitanova project has been undertaken in compliance with British standards, Euro codes and Australian standards. All buildings on the Vitanova project and a very good Briam rating, with the John Rennie building achieving an excellent rating. Risk management and mitigation is an important aspect of the project. Fortium have completed a risk assessment to identify business risks that could negatively impact our ability to deliver the Vitanova resort. Overall, Fortium have assessed the project to be medium risk. Key project stakeholders have been engaged with to gain valuable knowledge and increase the credibility of Fortium's proposed design solutions. Do you feel that it's a feasible and viable project? Absolutely. I think you know the, the redevelopment of the site is something that's been talked about for some time and it's a, it's a prime site in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, I mean clearly if the um, the remediation works at the base of the, the cliffs can be, um, can be executed properly, uh, I have every confidence that that can be done. A SWOT analysis has been undertaken by Fortium to identify the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the project. The total cost for the project has been estimated at £58.9 million. The net present value surplus and internal rate of return have been calculated as £58.49 million and 33% respectively. The break-even analysis predicted a payback time of 26 years, with the project set to make £184 million after 40 years. The project's total year income after expenses and tax has been estimated as £25.7 million, with additional income being generated from the PV park and oscillating water column. Fortium Engineering believe that this rejuvenation project, Fort Bovisan, will provide the right stimulus for Plymouth's social and economic market to grow and develop. Fortium team members have collaborated to successfully achieve all of the aims and objectives set to produce a safe, innovative and sustainable design solution that will act as a catalyst and an enabler for similar developments within the South West. Fortium team was conceived through an appreciation for the Nine Worthies, Nine historical figures personifying good values and treating others with respect. It was clear that from conception, Fortium wanted to aim to be an industry-leading design consultancy with a strong reputation with customers, clients and employees. It was therefore essential to formulate a set of core values to base all Fortium's operations on. We are accountable. Diverse. Sustainable. Safe. Communicative. Ethical. Sinergazimi. Innovative. Respectful. Client focused. Reliable. We are. We are. We are Fortium Engineering. <laughs>